We have two works by Michael Taylor coming up on the forthcoming June online auction. Both works are early pieces by the artist, created in 2009 and shown at a solo exhibition held at World Art Gallery. Uh, the exhibition was titled The Plot Thickens. The works on sale, uh, we've got a smaller work and a larger work. The smaller work is titled Cast, Crew and Director and the work behind me, Easy Going People. But before I delve into the artworks, I'd like to tell you a bit more about Michael Taylor and who he is. Michael Taylor was born in 1979. He lives and works in Cape Town. He studied visual communication. He did his master's in fine arts in 2006, both at Stellenbosch University. Um, with his visual communications background, the illustration part of um, his work comes in quite strongly. He is very much known for his illustrative style, which is instantly recognisable, with humorous titles that go hand in hand with the artworks. Taylor uses the relationship between the artwork and the title as concepts for his work. With this in mind, a Michael Taylor artwork seems incomplete without the, the bystanding title. Um, when one looks at one of these artworks, uh, we can almost imagine the title being whispered in your ear uh, just to add the humour that, that the artwork needs to be completed. The images are not inherently funny for him, but it's as if the title becomes this little voice next to the painting making a sarcastic or funny remark. To me, saying the titles out loud assists in the engagement between the viewer and the artwork, uh, for me, which is an integral part of experiencing Taylor's work. The smaller work, cast, crew and director, um, is acrylic on board. Um, one can see one figure um, with what looks like flowers in the background. So even though it's titled um, with cast, crew and director, you can only really see the director. Um, the director stands out and gets all of the fame and recognition while the cast and crew takes a back seat, um, basically floating to the background, not getting the recognition they deserve. Perhaps, who knows, uh, it really is the, the viewer that brings um, whatever their backstory is to complete the artwork. And that's what I like about, um, about art in a sense is that, uh, especially when they are titled, the, the artist gives you those tools to, to complete the cycle. The face of the figure reminds me of the facial elements that's seen in works by Robert Hodgins. Uh, you can see a slight moustache and thin eyeglasses with an upward tilted nose. Um, this, this feeling of air of importance with the red bow tie and the flower boutonniere. The character's manner uh, achieved by using minimal brush strokes. And this is another telltale of a very accomplished or uh, skilled artist to be able to bring a message across with very few lines. Easygoing People shows three figures. The middle figure wearing a large fur-like blush pink jacket which jumps to the foreground with flecks of rosewood and turquoise. The two figures in the background being pushed back by the cooler hues of blue and green. The composition and faces once again reminds me of Robert Hodgins' um, figures. A large influence in Michael Taylor's work is that of the American author and illustrator Edward Gorey, who's also known as the granddaddy of goth celebrated as much for his eccentric persona as his pen and ink drawings, who, when I did some research on him, found an image of him in a fur jacket and aviator glasses, and also with a cat draped around him like a scarf. For me, it's quite important to see how an artist achieve, comes to the images he or she creates, um, and then vice versa, how an artist, in turn, gives influence to the next generation. Michael Taylor has been showing with What of the World Gallery since 2006. In between he's also shown with, with World Art, as is evident in, in the two works seen here. When you go on the What of the World Gallery website, there is an ebook that you can look at called Selected Works. Uh, it was published in 2013 and in there um, is a little quote I'd like to read that uh, Michael Taylor states about his work. I'm starting to see my work more and more as self-reflexive. Yes, it is humorous, but perhaps that is a guise for the seriousness of the subject, much like nonsense for sense. The notions of recognition through ambiguity, confronting by covering up and defacement through disguise are things I intentionally inject into my work. As seen in the two works coming up for sale, 
Both colour and form play an important role in the creation of the pieces. With regards to the medium, Taylor prefers working in fast drying mediums like gouache and acrylic, giving him the freedom to use the painting surface as a drawing board where he can make marks without having to wait for it to dry. He is also known to paint from his imagination. This comes across, across in his dreamlike characters with vague features. With a note on colour, there is a catchy quote from Taylor regarding the use of brown in his work from an article written in Art South Africa 2010 with one of his pieces on the cover. To quote, recently I've started making brown paintings, those colours that your art teacher at school warns you to not mix. I like the idea that uh, like one would mask what's being represented, you can also mask colour and the communicative value of colour. So the next um, large solo exhibition of Michael Taylor is taking place in Sydney in June with the title This Is Awkward at M Contemporary. The June online auction starts on the 31st of May at 8am and closes on the 7th of June at 8pm. Be sure to add your commission bids not to miss out on any of these lots. <laughs>